Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor Vegas, Velimir Brockovich, Troy Smothers, and Safe Moon Oz for being higher level patrons. You can join that for as little as $1 a month. There is a link in the description. Also, thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button down below this video if you'd like to join that. Please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into this. So, Charles Caroni is officially stepping down from SafeMoon. This is not John Caroni. John Caroni is the CEO of SafeMoon. Instead, this is his brother, Charles Caroni, who is acting as the vice president of operations over in Europe. And this statement was issued earlier today from SafeMoon's official Twitter account. They said, please join us in wishing a beautiful Safe Moon Army bon voyage and awesome good luck to our tall hero, Charles Caroni, as he moves on to complete his degree. And then it goes on to say here, Charles has played a key role in our historic launch and has not just experienced history, but helped create it. We thank him, we honor him, and he has our full support. Please help us in wishing him well and thanking him for his key part in our journey. The achievement of one goal should be the starting point of another. That comes from a quote from Alexander Graham Bell. Charles Caroni has also issued a public statement in a series of tweets. He says, I have made the difficult but important decision to transition from my formal role with SafeMoon to return to college and complete my degree. I am extremely proud of all SafeMoon has accomplished and extremely grateful for the opportunity I've played in this unique journey. The past year is one that won't be forgotten by myself or others involved in the exponential growth and rise of SafeMoon. I will never forget this time, incredible team, the thousands or rather millions of amazing people who make up the force we know as the SafeMoon Army. As a continued holder and someone who is amazed at the accomplishments this company and community make, I remain committed to the bright future in store for SafeMoon. This is not the last time you will hear from me, nor, I hope, the last I will be hearing from all of you, as I will continue to follow the coming news from here. I'll see you around, because apparently, I'm quite tall. So I feel that that was a nice little way for him to say goodbye, but he's going off to college, guys. Uh, it is what it is. People will speculate and FUD for different reasons. I'm not going to be doing any of that here. I think it's very simple in my opinion i think he's just going back to college uh he's a young kid well he's a young man sorry i should rather say he's a young man so if he wants to go back and pursue more of his education that obviously is going to take a lot of time it's not really fair to the safe moon project if he stayed as a vice president of operations for an entire region like europe and uh to be juggling doing school as well either you'd be doing very little school or you're just not really putting your full effort in with the safe moon um, team, right? So I think that them having someone else that will come in and fill that role is a necessity for something like this when you're trying to actually scale up what safe moon is working on and doing as a tech-based company. We need to make sure that people are fully committed to these projects. So Charles deciding to step down himself and the way that he's done so I feel is very respectable and the next question I have is, who is going to replace him? Who will be the next person that takes the role of Vice President of Operations in the region of Europe? We'll find out, right? Whether it comes out through a tweet or through one of the blog posts by John Caroni, the CEO of SafeMoon, or through LinkedIn, uh, could be a Facebook post, I mean, could be a whole slew of things, or maybe they don't even publicly state it. I don't know. More than likely, they'll publicly state it at some point because I'm sure people are going to be bugging and poking John quite a bit like, hey, who's the new person? Who's the new person? Hey, who's the new person? Right? <laughs> so we'll see. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments down below. And I do have referral links in the description if you want to get free crypto, free stock. If you want to protect your crypto, there's a cold storage wallet, Elipal. You can check that out. There's a coupon code that's available there or discount code. And if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we go live. God bless, and I will see you in the next episode.